Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hair loss related one and it is going to be a review of a hat with hair. So the brand that this hat with hair is from is Someone Sunday and I actually won this as part of a Alopecia UK related raffle um, during Alopecia Awareness Month earlier this year. So I've been really lucky that I actually got to try this out um, and I've been absolutely loving it so far. So I wanted to put together a video review for you, you know, some of the pros and cons and just kind of show you and walk you through what it is, what it's like to wear it, how I apply it, how I care for it, etc. So this is the hat, I will show you very quickly. So the one that I, um, I actually got to choose which one I wanted, so I went for a beanie hat um, because I wear a lot of beanie hats all the time so for me just being able to slip something on and pop to the shops was great for me, that's why I went for a beanie hat. They do have quite a lot of different styles, um, so on their website they have caps, um, sun style Panama hats um, and also beanies and they all come in different colours so you've got, I've written them down so I don't miss anything out, you've got cool and natural blonde, deep brunette and rich auburn also and all of them, I had a look this morning on the website just to double check, are $119 um, which translate to around 90 English pounds. Um, so yeah, this is a hat with hair and this is the one I went for. So the reason I went for the dark brown is because it's really close to what my natural hair used to be. Um, and it's the colour of hair that I feel most comfortable wearing. I have tried different coloured wigs and things before, but I just really wanted something I could whip on and be really comfortable with. So what I'm going to do quickly is just walk you through the actual hat itself. I'll show you the different parts of it and then I'll pop it on and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, this is the actual hat itself. Um, it opens up at the front here and this is the part that goes on to your head. So this part um, can roll down and roll up kind of as high or as low as you like, depending on your head shape and how you like to wear your beanie hats. Um, so I will peel this back and show you how the actual hair is attached from the outside. So here you can see where the hair is actually attached. Um, and it's pretty uniform all the way round, which is fab. Um, and at the very front here, which is near the part of your face, uh, you have just this little tab here that can be easily tucked in um, underneath the cap itself so it's not on show. Um, but yeah, that's how the actual hair is attached from underneath. So I'll just show you as well the very top of the hat. In case you're interested in what it looks like. Um, it's very soft, it's really soft to wear. Um, and if I turn it inside out, this is what it looks like from the uh, inside as such. So you've got label here, which you can cut out if you find it irritating or anything. Um, this is the actual beanie style. And again, you can see the hair is completely hidden in terms of where it's attached. So that's the under part and that's the part that actually sits against your head. Um, so you don't have that like line of hair like sitting against your head or irritating you or anything like that. So. I've worn this quite a few times and I do have to say the quality of hair is really good. Um, it feels extremely soft to touch. Um, the only thing I have noticed is that it can get tangled quite quickly um, and you have to be really careful when you're brushing it out because it can pull out the hairs. Um, although it seems to be attached really well, it does seem that once it's tangled you do have to be quite gentle with it. So the brush that I've been using is this one here, just a wide tooth comb and just start at the bottom and then gently, gently pull up. Um, but do be careful if you do opt for, I guess, any hat with hair really, if it tangles and you pull it, it will shed and um, so over time you could be losing quite a lot of hair um, that's just something to note. So I'm going to pop this on now, I'll show you how I put it on. Um, there may be an easier way of doing this but I just like to flip it onto my head. So I literally just take the inside here, flip it on and then pull my hair back. Okay so just pull this round the front. So here you can see the little tabs that I mentioned. Um, but in a second, I'll just flip those underneath. They're quite easily hidden. So I'll just roll this down a little bit to where I like to wear it. And I'll slip this up. So I have worn um, this hat with hair, both with and without a wig cap. I personally prefer it with a wig cap, um, just because although the beanie hat is quite soft, um, I guess it's the same with anything you put on your head when you don't have hair. It can, Over time, it, I find it slightly, not irritating, but I just like to have an extra layer under my head. Um, so I will put it on in a second with a wig cap and just show you that in case you're interested. But um, I have gone out without it without a wig cap and it's been perfectly fine, but just my preference is to have one. So this is it here. I'll just give it a quick little brush before I do a little twirl and show you around what it looks like. Also, excuse my neck, I have an eczema outbreak. <laughs> Okay, so this is the hat with hair. So yeah, those tabs I just flip underneath like that. Um, you can see here, if, I mean, if you lift it right out, you can see the tab underneath, but just in like day-to-day -day wear, nobody's gonna notice really that it's uh, fake hair. It just looks like a hat, to be honest, with your hair underneath. So this is it. I'll just do a little side spin, see if you can see it. And I'll just go the other way. I really hope that's on camera. <laughs> that's it from the back. 
it's quite a nice length too but I mean if you wanted it a little bit shorter um, you could easily cut it so a lot of the styles on their websites are all just kind of like this length straight hair um, I'm not sure if they've got plans to come out with any like curly ones or anything but at the minute as far as I can tell it is just this kind of style of hair so if you did want your own you know shape or anything cut in you can definitely take scissors to it, take it to a hairdresser or do it yourself, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, overall, I think these are amazing. Like for the days when you don't want to put on a wig or you don't want to go out bald, I absolutely love just like popping this on my head. Um, it's, it's so easy and no one would ever know that you're wearing a hat with hair. And because the beanie is like, it's really lovely quality, but as well, it's not like, um, it doesn't look like, like, I don't know, it looks like just the normal beanie, basically. So no one's really gonna know that you have it's a hat with hair sort of thing. Um, so that's what it looks like on. So I will just pop it off and then put it back on with a wig cap. Um, I do actually prefer wearing it with a wig cap. I just find it slightly more comfy, but you can, if you're in a brush, you can just pop it on, it's absolutely fine. I think I'm just an irritable person. Like I really struggle wearing wigs just because after an hour or so, I just want to take it off because I find it really uncomfortable. So I'll just pop this on and then I will pop the hair back on and show you what it looks like. Might need a little bit of adjustment. Okay, just give it a quick little brush. All right, so back on. Okay, so here we are. So I'll just roll that right down and then pull it back up a little bit. So yeah, I mean, with a wig cap or without, you can't tell any difference. It's just your personal preference, really. Um, so I just quickly mention, I'll just read something out from the website. Um, this is just a little bit more about someone someday in general and kind of like what their goal is. So it says, um, their hair pieces such as this one are for women with hair loss or that don't have hair loss like without that are just having a bad hair day because every woman deserves to feel confident um, every single day and I love that it's so true um, and this really is just perfect for the days so you just can't be bothered basically to do anything like major with your hair and I think they are lovely quality they feel really soft um, the range of colours is great um, I think it's really good it's basically got kind of one of each main category um, you can cut them if you like and style it how you like I personally haven't taken Taken any like styling products or anything like that to this because this style of hair is how I used to wear my natural hair anyway so I've not felt the need to like kind of cut it or like try and curl it or style it or anything I literally just leave it like this um, and I, I really like it but it, again it's personal preference um, so yeah I hope you found this to be insightful so my top tips basically would be um, if you're gonna you take a brush to it definitely get something like this and just be really gentle you know just start at the bottoms work your way up and just really try not to pull out any knots um, I did that once actually after a night out I'll come back just brushing it away and realised that the comb was quite full of hair and just because I started at the top I'm just you kind of just forget sometimes but they are quite delicate and the same with the wig I guess if you've taken out hairs they're not going to come back so just be really careful with it really but um yeah, I'll definitely leave below their website and Instagram in case you want to check them out and have a look. They do have such a range of styles. I'm actually going to be buying one of the like Panama sun hats because I've got a holiday book next year. If it goes ahead, we will see. Um, so I think it would be great just to be on holiday and not have to worry about being bored or wearing a wig. I can just pop it on, go to the beach, etc. Um, so yeah, that's all for this video. Overall, I really like them and I would definitely recommend checking them out. Um, £90 does seem like initially quite a lot of money for a hat with hair, but the way they're put together is really beautiful. And if you think what you'd spend on a wig, it is comparable and for the ease as well, like literally just wig cap on or without and put it on your head and you're done. There's no like gluing down or anything like that. And I just think I really, I, yeah, I, can't, I, I, rec I can't recommend them enough basically. Um, definitely check them out and see if there's something that you're interested in. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one. Bye guys.